the next morning. Hey guys, it's around 6 in the morning, day 3. The weather has been changing today. For the past two days, it was around in the low 60s and it was really a good weather, but now it's just around 30 degrees. Now, we are heading to one of the major hikes called the Devil's Bridge. I heard that it's about four miles round trip and it takes about three hours. Hopefully we can go up and see the views without any problem. Let's go. Even at six in the morning, there are a lot of cars at Devil's Bridge. There's two ways to get to the main Devil's Bridge trailhead. One is a 4x4 car road. The other, which we decide to go, is a little longer but has more scenic views. This hike is about 4-5 to five miles round trip and takes about 3 hours round trip to complete. Another tip for this hike is to start early like we did because of parking and starting early will help reduce the wait time to cross that false bridge when you get there. We are now about two thirds the way to the Devil's Bridge and to get general information if you really want to you can rent like a jeep car and drive and come park at this spot. Until you get pretty close to the end, the trail is quite flat, but once you get pretty close to the end, the trail gets moderately uphill and it will get quite steep by the end. Once I got to the top of the hike, the view from the top was really beautiful as well as the red rocks and the devil's bridge which made this long hike worth doing it. We are now crossing the Devil's Bridge and the view here was amazing and also this bridge was a lot wider than what it looked so it was a lot less scary than what I had expected. After catching the beautiful views at the top of the hike, we are now heading back and we also saw some more beautiful views while heading down as well. We just finished this amazing hike and now we're gonna head to our temporary house to take a short break after this long hike. One hour later. We are now heading to Red Rock State Park. I don't know if you guys can see this but it just Know the little. Okay. 
In this spot, we walked a little through this park while seeing some more good views. Now we are heading to our next spot. In this spot, we walked a little bit while seeing the beautiful river. At the end of this short walk, there was a place where we walked on small red rocks and we had a really great view of the river as well. We are now heading to our temporary house to take a little break. One hour later. We are now heading to eat dinner, but on the way, we decided to stop by at some place to buy something for the next few days of this trip. The food at Golden Goose Restaurant was actually really good. We are finally heading to the toughest and most rewarding hike in Sedona. Cathedral Rock is only 0.6 miles long, but the second half is really steep. This hike will take you about 30 to 60 minutes to get to the top, depending on your pace. Until you get to the steep sections in the second half of Cathedral Rock, the first half won't be too difficult.
this is the halfway mark of Cathedral Rock. It will get a lot more challenging from here. If you're not ready, you can even turn back from here. But it will be great if you can finish this hike because the view from the top is amazing. Doing amazing, but this is really tough one. You're doing great. I think we're almost there. This is the steepest section on Cathedral Rock. Came up all the way this. Once I reached the end of trail sign, the view was beautiful and I was proud of myself for making it up there. This incredible view makes this steep hike to the top worth doing it. We got a really beautiful spot to see the sunset here in Cathedral Rock. Fortunately, the sky was clear today and we could see the sunset. Now we are heading back down. Going down is also quite tough and requires to be very careful on your way. Now we are heading home. But on our way, we had to stop by some grocery stores to prepare for our next days. That was a big day. 
especially with doing two major major hikes Devil's Bridge and Cathedral Walk they both are tough and not for beginners for sure but well worth it after you get to the top the views are incredible we also did Red Rock State Park and Red Rock Crossing which was also a mini hike today was a complete hiking day and tomorrow guess what I prepared so much for the next days it's because we're finally departing from Sedona and going to one of the most famous if not the most famous place in Arizona or the even the whole world guess where it is it is the Grand Canyon. I'm very excited to see it. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.